Now, this morning, we're celebrating a really glorious pe breed of people with distinctive voices. Proper journalism at scale, irrespective of platform and all that stuff. So, to the categories. Well, it's the inaugural, what a great word, Editorial Intelligence Comment Awards. They went really well. The winner of the top diary comment page is <laughs> the Londoner's Diary. The award for the best environment comment goes to Camilla Cavendish from The Times. And the winner is Alex Brummer of the Daily Mail. Congratulations. The British Press Awards celebrate the finest of journalism but essentially covers news and scoops. And the Comment Awards celebrate what it says on the tin, the commentariat, the commentators, both online and in print. And I think there's an appetite amongst the public for comment, clearly. And I think there's now an appetite for those commentators to be judged. And the first ever Media Commentator Award is Peter Preston of The Guardian. The award goes to FC's Alphaville. And just to remind the Alphaville team that they need to be back at their desks by 11 to write today's uh, online markets discussion. So thanks very much. And for this, the inaugural year, the winner is Fraser Nelson from Spectator News of the World. Um, thanks, it was a huge honour, especially the company I'm in. Um, the company I was in today was incredible. All my journalistic heroes were in this room, and it feels somewhat unreal holding one of these. I think I'm about to probably wake up uh, any minute now, especially because it's so early in the morning. I never thought I'd see so many journalists in the room before 9 o'clock anywhere. <laughs> so the award goes to Ian Dale. Well, I've never won an award in my life before, so it's a rather strange feeling. Um, I mean, I think it is a recognition of the fact that online commentary has really come of age. The fact that the award is included in this programme uh, it says, says it all. Ian Dale, given that I'm a political anorak, is a must. This guy, it's not just what he writes, he's becoming a serious power in the land. To the extent that you have to ask, Ian Dale, would he be more influential as an MP? junior minister or carrying on his blog? It's a live, real question, because he's that good. Clearly, uh, since he's been up for four awards, it's about time Johan Harry won. It's my pleasure to announce the award today. Goes to the Times. The Commentariat of the Year Award goes to Martin Wolfe of the Financial Times. Uh, thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to thank Editorial Intelligence sponsors and judges uh, for making this. We have a very, very good commentariat. We have really fine journalism uh, commenting on the state of the world. And, you know, and basically, um, you know, speaking truth to power. And it's, I think, better than anywhere else. In a climate where the news is very reactive, it's so important to have thoughtful commentary so that our political agenda isn't just set by politicians who are climbing the ladders of power and that these people are able to hold our decision makers accountable through their intellect and their forthright opinion. I love them all. And, you know, these are the people that I read and, and get all the time. But I was particularly glad to see Matthew Farris be celebrated. At heart, what this is about is consistent originality of thought and consistent elegance of writing and consistent interest, even if you don't always agree with what he writes, as I don't always do. So for me, it's a no-brainer, and it goes to Matthew Paris for his Saturday morning column in The Times. Oh, no. <laughs> Ask not for whom the 
bell tolls, dear colleague. It tolls for thee. This looks suspiciously like a Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> I like my readers. Uh, if they like me in return, good. I'm interested in my readers. My readers write to me. They write real letters and put stamps on them. And Times readers are such a diverse bunch of people from retired vicars in reduced circumstances to university professors to business tycoons. They write, they comment, and I, I have a, a tan almost tangible sense of the audience, the people for whom I'm writing when I write. So I think in a sense that it is my readers who, who help to, to form and illuminate what I do. I think there was a sense of grandness and gravitas when Martin Wolf of the Financial Times picked up Commentariat of the Year. I think there was genuine admiration for Alex Brummer picking up two awards, both for Magazine Commentator of the Year for Financial Comment in the New Statesman and also in the Daily Mail. Um, Johan Hari of The Independent got a laugh because I think he was shortlisted three, four times and eventually won Cultural Commentator of the Year. Um, but I think there were 12 awards and then a 13th was a surprise Chairman's Award to Matthew Paris for being Matthew Paris, really, it was the Chairman's Award, and he did not know that he'd won because we kept everything very secret, and so we had to phone him up at nine o'clock this morning and say, could you get in a taxi right now? And he did. I have a little array in my London flat, a very little array, and this will be a, a prized addition to it.